Today I want to present you a guideline that will cover some very important aspects that will greatly help you when learning how to game with Zim Nexus or gyro aiming in general. The idea behind this video is to not only assist you in the creation of config profiles, but to also provide you with recommendations on how to incorporate motion aiming in the best way into your gameplay. If you are watching this video, then you probably have never used a gyro controller before, or you are not sure where to start yet. The recommendations that I will show you in the next few minutes will not only allow you to learn and master gyro aiming in a much shorter time, but they will also prevent you from starting your gyro journey with some bad habits. In addition to that, you can use this video as a general guideline on how to set up Zim Nexus configs. It will go over the most important steps. Now before we start with the actual content, the following motion aiming steps are primarily geared towards gyro beginners. Some or all of these steps are things that you later may or may not want to use anymore once you've reached an intermediate or higher level. The guideline is nothing else than some training wheels attached to your bicycle. They are meant to help you learn how to ride the bike as fast as possible. And by the time you know how to ride the bike, it is up to you if you want to remove them or not. Now, with that out of the way, let's start with the first step of a config setup, the in-game settings. When using a Zim product, you must always use some very specific in-game settings. The reason behind this is that each Zim Nexus config has been optimized for very particular settings layout. You can find these settings by clicking onto the gear button in your Zim Nexus config. Zim Nexus Manager will now bring up the recommended in-game settings from the Zim website. If you use different in-game settings, then your Zim Nexus may no longer work as intended which can impact your stick accuracy, motion aiming, or other controller aspects. So always use the in-game settings from the Zim website. If you have played with different in-game settings in the past, then you can configure your Zim Nexus through Zim Nexus Manager to give you the same feel. So if you normally play with a controller sensitivity of 4, but the Zim website tells you to use 10, then you can adjust your stick sensitivity to 4 inside Zim Nexus Manager later. All adjustments are basically done within Zim Nexus Manager instead of changing the in-game settings. Once your in-game settings match the values from the Zim website, you can continue with your stick sensitivity. The best foundation for motion aiming is to have a stick sensitivity that you feel accurate with. In the beginning, you want to use motion as an assistance on top of your stick aim. So you roughly aim onto the target with your sticks, and then you finish the job with gyro aiming. When you start with gyro aiming, you ideally want to avoid having to cover longer distances with motion. Therefore, you want to use a sensitivity that allows you to get as close to the target as possible. As a first step, pick a sensitivity that you feel comfortable with. After that, change the motion activation in Zim Nexus Manager to Aim Down Sight. In the beginning, it is best to learn gyro aiming by using Aim Down Sight activation. This means that motion aiming is only active when you zoom in with a weapon and you fully press the left trigger. If you only lightly press the trigger, then you will enter ADS mode, but motion will not be active yet. To add motion, you will have to fully press the trigger. That way, you have more control over when you want to use motion while in the aim down sight mode. At the end of the config guide, I will show you how to customize that. By using motion only while aiming down sight, you will not overwhelm yourself with gyro aiming. You normally do not make any large aim corrections when zooming with a weapon. Usually you are already fairly close to the target before you scope in, which goes hand in hand with what we took care of in the previous step. By using ADS activation, it is also easier to reset your controller position. To do that, you just have to leave the aim down sight mode and you can reposition your controller. If you are playing a game that does not utilize an aim down sight mode, then I would recommend you use a different activation method. I will go into more detail on this at the end of the config setup. Next, you should choose which motion smoothing preset you prefer, starter or balanced. Both are good for beginners. Starter feels a bit more heavy than balanced. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using balanced which feels more responsive and precise. If starter doesn't feel good to you when you first start using motion, switch over to balanced. Another very important step is your motion sensitivity. Use a slow sensitivity at the start. The slower, the better. Your target in the beginning is not to make the fastest and longest flicks, but to accurately track targets and place your crosshair onto them. Try to make small steps first before you start really getting competitive. 
You will learn the concept of gyro aiming much faster if you start with a lower sensitivity. Once you have learned how to aim with gyro, you can of course increase your sensitivity, or even use it as your primary source of aiming. After your config has been created and sensitivity is set to your preference, I would like to mention a few more advanced adjustments for a better game experience. First off, if you wish to rebind all your Zimnexus buttons, and not just the four back buttons, then you do that by entering advanced config mode. Click the expert mode link at the bottom of your config menu to switch. Once you are in expert mode, swipe three times to the right to enter the button bindings. Here you can rebind every controller button to any action of your choice. Just click onto the Zimnexus button to load its binding menu, and then pick your preferred console button from the list of the given actions. The second thing I would like to address are radial in-game menus. Some games utilize selection wheels or other kinds of in-game menus. The healing menu in Apex Legends is one such example. You hold down the D-pad up button, and then you can select a healing item by pointing the analog stick into the direction of the item you want to choose. To use these menus, your Zimnexus controller must know which button you have bound to such a menu. Otherwise, the analog stick may not work in the menu. By default, the healing menu in Apex Legends is accessed by holding down the D-pad up button. So what I have to do now is to expand this binding menu in Zimnexus Manager and assign the radio menu role to it. That way, the Zimnexus controller knows that D-pad up will trigger a radial menu. As a result, the analog stick will then work correctly for this menu. The third thing I would like to show you is how to customize the point at which you activate motion in the aim down sight mode. By default, the aim down sight mode is usually bound to the left controller trigger. As you can see, there are currently two actions bound to the left trigger. The first one is the trigger itself, and the second one is the motion activation. This is displayed by the small gyro symbol next to the percent value. Right now, it is set to 100%, so anything below that will not trigger motion, but will only activate aim down sight mode. If you would like to engage motion at an earlier percentage, let's say around the 50% mark, then you can do so by doing the following. First, click onto the left trigger binding to load its menu. If you want to engage aim down sight prior to motion, you must set the percentage at the top to a value lower than 50% now. I will pick 1%. This will activate the aim down sight mode the moment the left trigger is lightly pressed. Next, you can close this menu and expand the motion binding menu. Change the percentage at the top to 50% now. Alternatively, you can also set it to 1%. This will result in your controller activating motion and aim down sight at the same time. At last, I would like to address games that do not utilize any aim down sight mode. A good example is Overwatch. Most heroes in Overwatch do not have any scope or zoom mechanic. If you intend to play a hero with a scope mechanic, then you can reactivate the aim down sight functionality in your config menu. Switch into expert mode and then swipe two times to the right. That way you will enter the aim down sight menu. Here you can enable the aim down sight activation. This will allow you to configure ADS stick and motion sensitivity that is independent from your hip setup. This also enables you to utilize the aim down sight motion activation again. If you switch back to standard editing mode, you'll see you now have both hip and ADS motion sensitivities you can adjust. There are also heroes which do not have any aim down sight mode. So let's untick the ADS activation again. And swipe back to the motion activation options. For games with no aim down sight mode, I recommend to use the engage toggle motion activation. By default, this will let you activate motion by clicking the engage button in the middle of your Zimnexus controller. You can of course bind the motion activation to any other button as well. For that, just switch back into the button bindings. Open the binding menu of your preferred button. I will use a back button. Remove the existing button assignments and select the toggle motion action at the bottom. Whenever you click that button now, your Zimnexus controller will activate and deactivate motion aiming. Once you have completed your adjustments, you can now save your progress in the top left and start your favorite game. Load an empty custom game or campaign level. Search for an object in the distance. This can be a stone, some visible dirt on a wall, or a test dummy like the one you can see in my game. 
Now move closer to the target until its distance to you roughly matches your typical combat distance. When you use motion for the first time, it is usually best to use stick and motion one after another. By that I mean you should avoid using both at the same time, at least for the first few hours. Instead try to first aim close to or directly onto the target with your sticks, and then activate motion to track the target or aim onto it. Once you have developed a feeling for motion, you can of course use sticks and motion at the same time, or you can start to primarily aim with motion and only use sticks for turning. My last piece of advice is to fine tune your stick and motion sensitivity now by practicing with your target. You can also move your character around a bit to test how well you can track the target. Once you have found a sensitivity that you feel comfortable with, you can exit the custom game and head into an actual game. If you would like to learn more about Zim Nexus, or how most of the advanced settings work, then you can check out the Zim Nexus manual that I have linked for you in the video description. Alternatively, you can also watch any of the other Zim Nexus tutorials which cover these features in greater detail. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button or maybe even subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Also, contrary to popular belief, this channel is not an official Zim channel. I run this channel in my free time to bring you guys the latest Zim news and tricks. So if you want to support what I do, then maybe consider to join the YouTube channel membership. Channel members usually get around 1-4 to four weeks of early access to all new videos. Plus, we also have a nice little Discord to discuss Zim settings and other stuff. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.